Here's everything PlayStation at CES 2022. Hello friends, welcome back to hi for games my name is Joseph and CES just started this week. It usually doesn't bring that much PlayStation news, but we have some from God of War, PlayStation Productions, and the newest iteration to PlayStation VR. Let's get into the details. Early presentations included AMD and Nvidia, the first only showed how AMD products are everywhere including consoles and of course PlayStation 5, while the latter had some God of War footage to show the game is incorporating Nvidia Reflex technology that is available in Nvidia GeForce 30 series cards to limit latency from input devices. While it's already supported in some competitive games, God of War is the first story-driven one to support this feature. Moving on to the Sony CES press conference, Sony Pictures kicked things off with Tom Holland and CEO Tom Rodman to talk about the production of the Uncharted movie, plus a clip from the plane sequence taken off Uncharted 3. Naughty Dog co-president Neil Druckmann showed to talk about the importance of their collaboration and how they are trying to keep these productions as faithful to the games as possible, plus he talked briefly about other PlayStation production projects including HBO's The Last of Us. Rothman then confirmed a Twisted Metal series and reiterated the Ghost of Tsushima film announced last March, coming from John Wick director Chad Stahelski. After that, PlayStation president Jim Ryan took the stage. He mentioned that they have 17 studios working on first-party games, including new additions like Fire Sprite, Bluepoint, Housemark, and support studios like Nixes and Valkyrie Entertainment. He moved gears onto the next generation of PlayStation VR, surprising no one when he said it's called PlayStation VR 2. And the controllers that they showed back in March last year are called PlayStation VR 2 Sense Controller. In terms of features, PlayStation VR supports higher fidelity visuals with 4K HDR and a wider field of view with 110 degrees, plus foveated rendering, a technique that uses eye tracking to reduce workload by reducing image quality outside peripheral vision. An OLED display gives a resolution of 2000 by 2040 per eye, with frame rates between 90 and 120 Hz. Cameras integrated into the headset allow for inside-out tracking from the controller so that it detects your movement and direction you look at without the need for an external PlayStation camera like the previous headset. The headset also combines eye tracking, headset feedback, 3D audio and the new VR2 Sense controllers to provide a deep feeling of immersion with headset feedback enabled by a single built-in motor with vibrations that add to the gameplay experience. Some examples given in the blog post include feeling the elevated pulse of a character in a situation, the rush of objects getting close to a character's head, or the thrust of a vehicle speeding forward. Eye tracking detects the motion of your eyes, making a look into a specific direction and additional input for the character to interact in a new level of realism. The bad news is that it doesn't seem it's gonna be wireless with the specs indicating it communicates with PS5 via USB-C. There are not many details regarding this, so probably it still is? Question mark? To close his appearance, Jim Ryan introduced Horizon Call of the Mountain coming from Fire Sprite and Guerrilla Games, it's an original game being built specifically for PlayStation VR 2 to bring players deeper into the world of Horizon. They didn't show the headset per se and no details were provided regarding launch date or price, but given rumors that it's entering mass production soon, we could think of a late 2022 or early 2023. And there you have it, that's everything shown from PlayStation at CES, but what do you think about it? Which PlayStation production are you looking forward to? And what are your thoughts regarding PlayStation VR 2? Share them in the comments below, like or dislike to show your feedback, check out other videos you may like while you're here, and consider subscribing for more PlayStation content. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Joseph, this is hype for games and let's get hyped!